Well, hello, and most welcome back to the Geomodism channel. This is your host, Eric of Geomodism, your Lord High Admiral. We are going back to the Trials Season 2 of the Army of Geomodism, um, where we have the Battle Trials to find the new best anti-air missile system. All spawned on the platform as uh, has been uh, built for this purpose and being tested against the same targets of course in this little video we will test the rb05 by matrus third class trk20 and this is a uh, very interesting system i am a little bit uh, I'm I'm at, I, I'm uh, I can't wait to test this. This is gonna be so fun because the breadboard code that TRK20 has written for this is so long and complex that uh, well, apparently it's working on an even more advanced system. But whatever, this is some advanced stuff. TRK20 has definitely put together a very interesting Lua code. These are Lua missiles incendiary with a little bit of a shape charge in its head so these well i can't wait to test them out as said so let's get into it before we get into it i just want to say a huge thanks to all the commissioned officers in the army of gymnasium you can see them on screen as of this recording and of course to the cadets as well and to the Ecclesiarchy of Geomodism that are the YouTube members. And you perhaps saw this video a bit early. In any case, your monthly support helps me a lot. And if you want to support this channel, you can join on YouTube or on Patreon. I put them as cheap as possible so anyone could join if they would um, want to. And like, if you can't, well, please don't. If you have any trouble with that extra dollar a month you'll need it a lot more than i do so don't even consider it but if you want to get some perks you can consider it <laughs> uh, and and you can afford it yeah if that doesn't make sense yeah. i think you get what i mean only give me um, a support if you can afford it without it affecting your economy of course any case let's get on with this and of course if you haven't done that already please like the video look at this code it's insanely much that's amazing we are gonna start, as always, with the Duster, the Shrike and the Geiger being all over there. Now let us indeed let make sure everything is set up and we can then start the timer. So now we can see they are spawned at uh, 3000 meters range, by the way. And what will happen? Just wanted to make sure I'm not controlling any weapons. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. All right. Oh, whoa, okay. What the quick launch. Are they glowing in the dark? What is this magic? Oh, bam, look at that. We have a fire already here. Oh, wow. This is the first missile system that is targeting many at once. One is down already. This is quite amazing. I know TRK20 talked about this. Armatrus discussed this in our Discord, which you should join, by the way, if you haven't. And talked about it could engage several targets as once. And, um, well, I shouldn't be surprised, but I am kind of surprised to see how effective that was. One minute has passed so far. Two of the targets are down already. Wow. And we'll need to keep tuned to stop the timer here. I think, looking at it so far, that we'll have a record at beating the DVG first bout of enemies. The first bout of the enemies here is basically a little bit of an overwhelmed test. These are not super scary targets, but oh bam. There we have it. It is dead. It is dead. One minute 
and 45 seconds. It's all what it took. That was very amazing results. Very cool. Well, that's a record for beating the first bout of enemies. Very cool. Or I think at least. I don't actually have all the results in my head. So the next couple of rounds is going to be the flying squirrels. And the flying squirrels are quite scary as well. They are remarkably hard to hit. They're so evasive that a lot of fighters are just unable to engage them. They usually outperform a lot of uh, enemy uh, systems, so it's going to be highly interesting to see how they are dealing with it. Now, I'm very much wondering, this missile model is very strange. It's, it's like glowing in the dark. Bam, the flying squirrel caught fire here. They hit the squirrel quicker than anything I've seen so far. Very impressive. It is, as it says, engaging several enemies at once. If we're going to keep a bit of a zoomed out view here, you can see the Lua missiles are going and dividing up themselves to kill the different targets. And obviously, they are... Yeah, oh, bam, one got down there, one is completely dead. That is quite amazing. They're dividing up and engaging all the enemies. All right, we, oh, there we have it, stop the timer. That is one minute and 33 seconds. I think, is this the fastest anyone has beaten the, uh, the squirrels? I think that may be so. Yeah, it is. Last last record. That's two minutes. The last record is two minutes. Now we're one minute and 34 seconds. Wow. It's going to be very interesting to see how it can deal with really quick and non-wood targets. Next up is the Lightning Hoods Static. So we're going to see how the Static may perform here then. Spawning in at 3000 meters. This little uh, alloy block is uh, much quicker than the ones seen before. So now we're going to see if the missiles can outspeed it. But we're going to have some even faster enemies later on too. Oh wow, are you kidding me? It's already dead. That's 25 seconds. TRK-20, Armatru's third class, has delivered a system with very good capabilities of uh, shooting down stuff. Opting for short-range thrusters, that is a quite unusual choice, but I love seeing it working with this Lua setup. The RB05 has a friend spawned in, now they are two. So we shall see how two of them can deal with a bit more tough enemies. At 5000 meters we'll go over to the Hake Squadron, which I have a personal grudge with and I want to see them all burn. So we will see, the Hake Squadron is coming in here and the RB05 by TRK20. What's up with those names, man? <laughs> Anyways, they're just waiting here. Just waiting. Sitting here, peacefully in the air, not launching a thing, knowing we'll have some short range thrusters. They are dividing themselves up to shoot at different targets. Isn't that quite beautiful? The fire is doing a lot of the work. One of the Hakes are already dead. Oh, bam, and this thing, it is on fire. The Lua missiles are being divided up. Oh, wow, 81, 93, 
they won't have long to live this poor Hague squadron. Wow. That is quite amazing. Now we need to be quick here with the little button. And oh no, I just, <laughs> just realized that I forgot to record time. So, um, <laughs> well, RB05, let's hope it is as lucky the next, uh, okay, we're gonna redo this, so. Okay, that was, uh, that was somewhat clumsy of me, but whatever, I love seeing these in action. Uh, let's, uh, let's lock on to one of the hakes, and uh, now the clock is ticking. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a record here for 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 the entire time. If it manages to beat the more beefy targets in a similar fashion, wow, that is gonna be oh my god, Lua missiles. That's quite OP. Look at that. Are you kidding me? I think it does. I think it did even better this round. I think it performed even better. How is that possible? 89 oh. okay one is left there we can it kill it in five seconds because if it can uh oh okay we passed it it couldn't kill it within one minute but i almost thought it could bam there we go one minute and six seconds are you kidding me trk 20 wow your Lua coding is, uh, that's, that's next level. I think the army of Jimenez needs to hire you for coding missions. <laughs> you know, I want to make a uh, ranged ship by sector and I need a good um, Lua aiming system or something like that. Hmm. 0106. What a stat. Okay, next up we have the Gannet. The Gannet Squadron is a little bit more scary, but uh, I'm not thinking it will be a big match for these guys. They are coming in here pretty quickly with their modern type jet fighter vibes. But I think our TRK's RB05 or whatever it was called now again, Missile launcher Lua based system will make pretty short work of these guys. Look at that. Two of them. One is already dead. Are you kidding me? That's now this one is dead too. What the hell? We have one Gannet left. Okay, we'll need to keep our eyes peeled on this Gannet and see if it will be killed within the minute. Look at that. Look at that. This is gonna... Ooh, that's exactly one minute. Wow. RB05. What a missile launcher. TRK20. Matrus 3rd class. What a coder. What a coder. How are you still the Matrus 3rd class? I know, because you haven't, you know, participated in any challenges uh, except... I think the space tournament, but that was like years ago, before the AOG ranking. Well, next up we have the Peregrine Squadron. And the Peregrine Squadron, well, some of uh, the participants have actually killed that one faster so far. So I won't expect them to last long either. We shall see though, if anything changes around, because if TRK-20's design is unable to deal with this or the next enemy, the time for that will of course lead to a 12 minutes in total. 10 minutes plus the penalty. And that would make the points, uh, the time in all, be longer than uh, the... Well, what, what, what am I even trying to say? Look at this. We are so... We are so winning this. Oh man, look at that. Anyways, I just wanted to say that if it's possible, if 
if the RB05 is unable to deal with the Hellfire, it could still not be the best system we have seen so far in this tournament. It's entirely possible, just wanted to say that. Uh, it's very unlikely also, but uh, yeah. And there we get it. The Peregrine, well, a little bit tougher than uh, the um, Gannets, but whatever. We clocked in here at 1 minute and 14 seconds. Wow. So last out, we have the Hellfire. So let us spawn the Hellfire and start the clock and see what's gonna happen here. Now only one target, lots of Lua missiles. We will see indeed. If it's weird evasive going up to space sometimes movements will be a problem for the RB05 or not. I'm thinking not, but you never know. I have been surprised before. Okay, I just checked I remember the god mode. Oh yes, okay. Oh wow. It's dead. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I think we AI... Oh. That's amazing. You know what? You know what? These missiles, they have a tiny bit of a shaped charge. So I think they kill the AI using the spool from the shape charge. That is so impressive. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's a record for this. That's 35 seconds, possibly even 34. Man. RB05. Wow. Uh, I'm speechless. Um, I don't have to use a lot of math skills to count this out. This is this. These are... Uh, man. Every single one is under two minutes. Every entry. It's one minute and some seconds. Just one minute or... 25 or 35 seconds. This is insane. Calculating this together, <laughs> I get 7 minutes and 39 seconds. You know, I'm absolutely speechless. I, uh... Wow. So, um, I'll be surprised if we have anything that beats this. But, but... If you didn't use Lua missiles, well, there is somewhat a, a space for like a semi extra winner ish too for the performance side because people have told me that Lua missiles may cause lag. So, obviously, um, this uh, little tournament rules don't forbid Lua in any way, even if they cause some lag. Um, but, for example, if we're going to have a big scale battle, we might still need a missile that's really good that doesn't use Lua as well. I don't know, maybe a non-Lua missile will beat these stats, but 7 minutes and 39 seconds? Are you insane? That's TRK-20, Matru's third class. I don't think you will be Matru's third class forever. I think you'll um, go up a rank. <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe you won't. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please like this video. It really helps. And uh, I'll catch you next time. This uh, this has been something. Let's 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 say that. AOG Invictus.